everyone, it's Samantha from Scrap Masters Paradise. This is another Project Life Process video. I am using the same Inky Hot Mess kit that I used on my last process video, which was actually week number 21. So I'm really jumping around here. This is actually week number 25 that I'm going to be doing now. And I picked this one because these cards are all really summery cards and I have lots of summery photos of the dogs this week. And then... I've got lots of hammock photos this week too. So we're just playing on a hammock. Um, this is the week that I received my hammock. My mom had ordered it for my birthday. So I took a bunch of pictures of my husband and I and the dogs on the hammock playing around. So these are perfect summer photos to go with this Inky Hot Mess kit. So I thought I would use them. I will go back and fill in the weeks as I go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started and speed this up for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy.
Okay, so there is week number 25. Now that I've used this kit on a couple of layouts, I want to talk about the things I like and the things I don't like about this kit. I will put this kit and all the information on the kit comparison chart I have over on my blog where I compare all the kit clubs that I've tried out. I'll link that down below so you guys can check it out. It's a great resource if you're looking for a kit club. I highly recommend checking it out. I give you my absolute honest opinion. I give you negative things, I give you positive things, and talk about my kit clubs. So right now, the only kit club I am subscribed to is Freckled Pawn, and I still absolutely love Freckled Pawn. I don't see myself ending my kit club subscription unless money gets tight or or I stop scrapbooking, basically. So I really want to keep that kit as long as I possibly can because I really like it. And what I like about that kit a lot is it doesn't come with journaling cards because I have tons and tons of Project Life Becky Higgins core kits, so I'm just overrun with journaling cards. And the reason I say that is because this kit club, Inky Hot Mess, comes with tons of journaling cards. So it's just tons and tons of journaling cards. And you can see I did two layouts and I did quite a few pages um, in this layout especially. Um, and I still have tons and tons of journaling cards. So this definitely is a kit club that you want to join if you don't already have tons and tons of journaling cards. If you're new, this would be a good kit club if you're new to Project Life type scrapbooking since you would get lots of journaling cards, you could build up your journaling card stash because I don't know if many people would use all of this in one month. Maybe you would, but I don't know. It just seems like a whole lot of journaling cards. One thing I do like about the journaling cards is they have the square corners. And I just, I don't know, I really love the look of the square corners with them all lined up. It just looks more crisp and clean to me than the rounded corners. So I'm definitely a fan of the square corners. Um, and not many kits do come with those square corners. So that's a nice plus. Um, you can always round them if you don't like the square corners. One other negative I have about this kit club is the cards are just cut down from patterned paper. So these aren't anything unique that they have specially printed. They're just patterned papers that you can purchase. And Echo Park is one of those companies that's a specialty boutique-y type thing. So you can't pick Echo Park up everywhere. So it's not like you can just run out to Michael's and get tons of Echo Park stuff. So you would have to probably order online and get one of their collection kits or paper pads and then cut down your paper yourself. And it's clear to me that these came from 12 by 12 sheets. So you'd have to buy a collection kit of 12 by 12 sheets to try to replicate what you got here. Um, and the collection kits are like 14 or 15 bucks. And then you'd have to cut them down. So this definitely saves you time and effort if you purchase this kit. So you don't have to end up cutting things down. But at the same time, you could totally do this yourself if you really want to. Um, if you really wanted to and you really had time, you have a good paper cutter, you could totally do this yourself. And one thing I don't like, since it is cut down from pattern paper, you get a lot of repeats. So there's lots of duplicates that you get. You do get some really cool journaling card style cards, but a lot of them are these patterns. So you end up with lots of patterns. Having lots of patterns would be absolutely wonderful if you like to design your own journaling cards. So you could totally go to town designing a really cool card on here since it's pattern paper. But for me, I'm not really into designing my own handmade cards or anything. So you can see what I did with my cards. That's about as handmade card as I get. I just covered it with a chipboard and some letters. Um, but overall, I left a lot of these patterns blank. So they're just in there like filler cards, which they look really cute, but I wouldn't need four of this card, you know? Like the kit comes with bunches of each card. So I feel like the cards in this kit are definitely uh, my least favorite thing about the kit. All in all, I think the accessories were great. Their wood veneers were so cute. That camera one was just amazing. Um, and I, I can see myself using all of these embellishments and finishing them off uh, with the exception of the ribbon. I am just really not a big fan of using ribbon on my Project Life layouts or my scrapbook pages. I definitely could see myself using these on a card at some point. But to me, I feel like that's not very Project Life-y. I don't know. I haven't seen a lot of people using ribbon on their Project Life. So I incorporated a little bit of this ribbon into my layout, but that was it. I used it on one card and that was it. 
Other than that, I love the kit. I love the embellishments. I really liked their flair. They were really nice. And all in all, I think it's an absolutely wonderful kit, especially if you're a beginner or if you like to make your own handmade cards because you have a lot of these patterned ones that you can design your own cards with. So that's my honest opinion. I gave you what I like, what I didn't like. I'll leave a link to my kit comparison down below so you can check that out. I hope you guys found this helpful. Be sure to check out Inky Hot Mess. There is a coupon code. I'll leave it down below as well. And I have more information about their kit club linked down below too. So you can definitely check them out. It was really nice to use something a little bit different from my normal Freckled Fawn kit this month. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you like Project Life videos. And I will catch you guys after next week. I'm taking next week off. Now have a great weekend and a great week next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.